hello everyone welcome back to my channel and for this video we'll be learning how to make this beautiful short two-step gather dress that can be rocked in several ways you can either rock it as an off shoulder or a full shoulder dress and you can actually tie the straps across the neck as an outer neck tuck it in or tie it across the chest so if you're ready let's get started These are the measurements I'll be using to cut this dress. So I'm going to start by cutting the top part of the dress. And to cut the top part of the dress, I'm going to be using my bust measurement times one and a half. If you are using a silk or chiffon fabric to make this, I'll advise you times your bust by either two or two and a half, depending on your fabric. But for cutting, it is best to use one and a half okay so my bust times one and a half is 45 inches so i divided 45 by 4 which gave me 11 and the quarter so i just added half inch seam allowance okay so i'm going to do that i'm going to mark that all the way down and rule that line so next i'm going to be marking my length dimensions so i started marking from six inches because the off shoulder is i use six inches for the off shoulder so i'm just marking my chest my bust my under bust and my half length so because of i want the front to have a basque effect i'm going to add extra two inches to the length and i'm also going to add half inch seam allowance so i'm just going to reel that and cut it out and for the back pattern I'll be using the front to recut the back so next I'm going to mark my armhole and to make my armhole curve I'll start by multiplying my across front by one and a half so 13 times one and a half gave me 18 and a half so I divided that by two which is nine and a quarter so i just marked nine and a quarter and then putting my tape at off six i'm going to mark my chest length that is where my armhole will stop so i'm just going to create the curve i'm just going to come in by an extra one inch to make my armhole curve bigger and also so that the sleeves can balance a bit more on the shoulder so I'm just going to mark that and cut it out. Then I'm also going to notch the top part of the dress so that will differentiate it from the side. I'll be cutting the sleeves with this chantilly lace. So I've just folded the sleeves using my upper arm times two. So my upper arm is 11, 11 times two, that's 22 inches. So I'm cutting both sleeves now and I'm just going to fold it again and then I'll cut it out. So I'll be using the full length of this chantilly lace, which is 27 inches because I actually want the sleeves to be really, really long and I also want them to have this color part of this chantilly lace. So to cut the armhole, I'm just going to place my top bodice on the side of the sleeve and I'm just going to cut it out like this. Then I'm going to open up the sleeves fully so this is how the sleeves look like now i'm going to be cutting off the extra two inches i added for the basque effects at the back so i'm just measuring two inches at the back pattern and i'm going to cut that out while for the front i'm going to mark two inches above the waistline or the half length and i'm just going to use my pattern master to connect it to the bottom part of the top so right now i've just created my box effects or v effects the v shape i'll be getting from this is minimal so if you want an exaggerated v shape you can actually mark four inches above the waistline so this is how the back looks like and this is the front so now i'm going to be measuring the waistline so that i can use it to cut the skirt parts and I measured it to be 24 inches. So I'm going to multiply that by two, which is going to give me 48, meaning that I'll be cutting the longer step using 
48 inches by 20 inches okay so i just folded my pattern now by 24 and i'm marking the length which is 20 inches and i added one and a half inch allowance so i'm just going to cut that and i'll be cutting double of this one for the front and one for the back So after that, I'm going to be cutting the shorter step, which is going to be 15 inches by length. So it's just going to be 5 inches shorter. So I'll be cutting two, one for the front and one for the back. Next, I'll be cutting the pocket piece. So I'm just going to fold what I have left and I measured it and I had 10 by 9 inches. So I'm just going to cut that out and I'm going to measure 7 inches space for my palm to go in and i'm going to cut the pockets this way so right now we have the four pocket pieces so after cutting everything and i'll be using this left over two inches long thin fabric i have for the straps for this project we'll be using this elastic thread because this is what will give us the smoking or the sure effect. So I'm going to use my hands to roll it round the villa just like this. I'm going to be putting this in my short zone, okay? While a regular thread will be at the needle side. I'll start by hemming my four gather pieces together. So I've just used my iron to iron down my one inch folding allowance so it will be easy for me to stitch on the line using my cover stitch machine so i'm just going to stitch this for all four pieces and iron that for the top part of the dress i made a small v which i'm cutting out so i used half inch by three inches so i used half inch for the width and three inches for the depth of this v and i'm just going to use a facing to turn this thing okay so right now this is the center part of our dress so i'm just going to turn that right now and then i'm going to notch that v part and i'm going to turn it so i'll take it to my river machine with it and then iron it and you'll see how it looks and after doing that this is how it looks like so next i'm going to be turning the top part of the top and i'll be turning it in such a way that i'll be creating space for our straps so that we can be able to create a gather at the top part of the dress in other words the top part of the dress will be more like a drawstring so i'm going to be doing that on both sides of the v and for the back piece i'm just going to turn the top part there will be no straps in this one it's just going to be like that Next, I'll be stitching the straps. So I'm just going to sew this, cut off the extra allowance, and I'm going to turn this to the right side. And I'm going to insert it in the space we made at the top side of our dress. Having completed that, I'm going to mark my under bust length, which is 14 inches. So I'm going to mark that on the front top bodies. This is where the smoking will start from. So I'm just going to mark that all through and I'm going to start smoking the dress from that point. Okay. So I'm going to be sewing using, I'm going to be sewing using half inch spacing for each seam line. And I'm going to do that all the way. And after doing that, this is how the front looks like. So next I'm going to do the same to the back and I'm going to sew it all the way from top to bottom and after sewing that this is how the back looks like so after that i'm going to pin the front and the back pieces together i'm going to pin that and i'm going to take it to my weaving machine and 
stitch that together. So after stitching it, this is how it looks like. Next, I'm going to be sewing the sleeves. And for the sleeves, I'm just sewing um, two seams at the top side of the sleeves. So I've just sewn one because I wanted it to smoke more or gather more. I'll be sewing the second one. So I did this for the top of the sleeve, leaving about one inch above before the seam. And I'm going to be doing the same for the bottom part, leaving two inches below and I'm going to sew two seam lines too on this so that it's going to be stronger and more elastic. So I'm going to do the same for both pieces and then I'm going to take it to my ribbon machine also and then I'm going to join the side seam together. Then the next step will be to join this to the bodice. And so I'm just going to pin this around the armhole and I'm also going to use the weaving machine to stitch it. I like to join with this weaving machine because it saves me the stress. So it's more like I'm sewing and weaving at the same time. So after stitching this, this is how it looks. You can see how beautiful our top is looking. I actually wanted to make this a crop top at this point. <laughs> And I'll be stitching the other side of camera. For the bottom part of the dress, we are going to be sewing a loose or running stitch on the top side of the dress. So I'm going to be doing this on all four pieces. And after sewing the running stitch, I'm going to gather them to 24 inches. Remember, 24 inches is our waist length. So I'm just going to gather each four piece to 24 inches so after gathering it pieces i'm going to just join them together as you can see so i've placed the shorter one on top of the longer one so now we have our two step and i'm just going to stitch the two pieces together so i'm going to be doing this for the front and for the back so next will be to sew our pockets so to sew the pockets all you need to do is to place your pockets at the same side of your skirt i'm going to measure two inches from the waist and that is where my pockets will start from so i'm going to measure two inches place the pocket right there and i'm going to use a half inch seam to stitch it to the skirt so i'm going to do the same to the other side like as i said make sure you pocket is facing downward measure two inches from the waist and then stitch it together to the main skirts just like I'm doing so I'm going to do the same to the back piece okay and after stitching all pocket pieces I'm going to flip it to the inside and give it a good ironing next we'll be pinning the front and the back skirts piece together and we are going to sew and join them together to form a full skirt and finally i'm going to be joining the top and the bottom parts together to form our full dress so i'm just going to pin the middle part of the top to the middle part of the skirt then i'm also going to pin the side seams together then I'm going to drag, remember that they are both 24 inches, okay? So by the time you drag the top part, it's going to fit with the skirt. So I'm just going to pin it round and then take this to my sewing machine and join the two pieces together. Please, while you are sewing this, please don't forget that you have to drag the top part to get to the skirt part, okay? And at this point, I changed the elastic thread in the shuttle to your regular thread. And after joining both pieces together, I used my weaving machine to knit and knit. And our dress is ready! Yeah, you can see the dress. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please let me know if you're going to reciprocate this. Also, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, turn on your notifications so you don't miss out any of our videos. And see you next time. Bye!